satisfy in the Fredo Gorgia. All the African countries that have spoken during the ministerial meeting have objected and refused to politicize the Tokyo International Conference on African Development. Japan had to make compromises in the end and remove related contents from the draft proposal. The main task is to improve people's livelihoods across Africa. Why would some people like to disturb the development of the continent with other regions' problems and troubles? This is wrong. Zhang pointed out that the international community should follow the principles of equality and mutual respect while promoting cooperation with Africa. The reasons why China-Africa cooperation has developed rapidly and has won the approval of many African countries these years are, one, we promoted and implemented numerous cooperative projects in Africa. Secondly, and more importantly, China respects Africa, and our cooperation is based on principles of equality, sincerity, mutual benefit and non-interference in each other's internal affairs. I call on other partners to also listen carefully to Africa's voice and fully respect Africa's will. Africa is no longer the Africa before independence. African states have their own wills and choices. You will embarrass yourself if you try to impose your wishes on the continent. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe pledged 30 billion US dollars to Africa over the next three years. The money is meant to go to infrastructure, healthcare, and other projects. Zhang says quality, efficiency, and implementation are key to cooperation with the continent. We call on all international partners to provide high-quality products and services in cooperation with Africa. Apart from quality, what to cooperate with, how to cooperate and when to deliver are all important. They have to meet the needs of African partners. Efficiency should also be valued and you need to deliver what you promise. Zhang also spoke about China's achievement in terms of cooperation with Africa and China's welcoming more countries to achieve mutual benefit with the continent. China-Africa cooperation has become a model and played a leading role for the international cooperation with Africa. It's not said by me. I simply quoted what many African friends of mine said, and I agree with it. China has a leading role of international cooperation with Africa, and it supports the diversification of Africa's partners and hopes they will leverage their respective strengths and combined forces to support enduring peace and rapid development in Africa. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.